a 20 liter bucket and a scale. Who would have thought that these are the tools required for an official test of bulk density and composting called the bucket test. Measuring bulk density of compost is important for a number of reasons. It's important for converting weight to volume such as how many tons of compost are in a windrow or a bin or how many cubic meters of compost fit into a truck with a given weight capacity. Measuring bulk density also provides an estimate of the ability of air to flow through the material to provide enough oxygen for the composting microbes. It verifies that we are adding enough bulking agent to ensure adequate aeration of the composting material. Some jurisdictions require objective measurement to record that the material being composted has a bulk density of 500 to 700 kilograms per cubic meter. The concern is that material having a bulk density greater than 700 kilograms per cubic meter is more likely to allow anaerobic microbial activity that may produce nasty odor. Bulk density is easily measured in the field using the bucket test. The equipment required is a 20 liter bucket, a scale that measures up to 50 to 100 kilograms, and a shovel. The procedure is as follows. First, the bucket needs to be calibrated, which only needs to be done once. 20 liter buckets are not always 20 liters. With the bucket zeroed on the scale, add 20 kilograms of water. Mark this water level in the bucket. This calibration method assumes that one kilogram of water is equal to one liter, which is close enough in most areas. Alternatively, add 20 liters of water using a container with a known volume. Remove the bucket from the scale and dump the water. Now to measure bulk density. Make sure that the bucket remains zeroed on the scale. Now begin adding compost to the bucket. Fill the bucket to approximately one-third full. Lift the bucket to a height of 30 centimeters and drop onto a hard surface. Not the scale though. Repeat this five times. Now fill the bucket to two-thirds full and repeat the lifting and dropping procedure another 10 times. Fill the bucket to 20 liter mark. Repeat the lifting and dropping procedure another 10 times. This is supposed to simulate some of the settling that may happen in a compost pile. Add enough compost then to fill the bucket to the 20 liter mark, place on the scale and weigh. Note and record the weight of the material in the bucket. Multiply this weight by 50, which will then give you the bulk density in kilograms per cubic meter. This technique is also the first step in measuring air filled porosity which we'll describe in the next video. My name is John Paul. I'm a waste management scientist. Thank you.